The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. So a few years ago, <laughs> it's a cute story. I had a bunch of guys come over to the house. And it was Purim. And we were all drunk. Kedarkeinu Bakodesh. Mama Shemilu the Suda. And two guys walked up to me and said, Rabbi, two Talmidim, they said, Rabbi, last year you gave my friend a beracha to get married and we thought he'd go last. And he got married last year. He went first. We want a bracha to get married this year. So I'm, I'm a stone drunk. I'm not a guy to give brachot. I don't have anything more than anybody else. I guarantee you that. I just like to try to inspire a little bit of Klal Yisrael and teach some Torah. That's it. But I was drunk. So when you're drunk, you do crazy things. So I put my hand on the guy's head. And I started crying to Boreola. And I screamed, Bezat Hashem. I want to dance by your wedding this year. Oh. There was a guy right behind him. Grandpa, I want to get married this year. I was drunk out of my mind. I put my hand on his head. Bezat Hashem, we're going to dance by your wedding this year. There was a guy right behind him. He was so taken by what he saw. He came running up to me. And the guy was beside himself and he starts crying. Now this guy's married. He said to me, Rebbe, everything I've ever touched went sour. Every business I went into, come up, flopped. Each one bellied over. Please give me a bit of chafa shirut. Give me a bit of chafa shefa. I want to be from the biggest givers in Klal Yisrael. I said, wow. He said, please. I saw he was real. I said, do you really believe it's from Hashem? He said, yeah. Do you really believe that Parnassah is from Hashem? Yeah. You really believe it has nothing to do with the guy in the store, the, the buyer, the seller, the containers, China, COVID. It has nothing to do with any of that. It's only one, one, one that decides your Parnassah. Do you believe that? He said, yes. I said, if you believe that, I'm giving you a beracha. That means that Hashem this year, and remember, I was stone drunk out of my mind. Don't take this seriously. But I was, I, I, I told him, I will give you a biracha that this year you're going to make a fantastic windfall of money, that you're going to be from the givers of Klal Yisrael. And he said, Amen. And then he turns to me and he says, How? How's Hashem going to send it? The market is not. You know, up until that moment, I was stoned out of my mind. But I don't know what came over me. I became very, very serious. And I said to him, you had it. You were standing by the door. <laughs> you had it. How? You're asking how? They might get married this year. I don't know what's going to be. <laughs> Those other two guys got married that year. <laughs> and this guy's still looking for a business to make a partner. Sayin. Lech lecha. Brit ben abitarim. Ma titzak elai. Stop telling me how to run the show, says Borei Olam. Da beril ben Yisrael v'yiso. Follow me. Jump in, show me your action, show me your heart. Stop asking me how and stop telling me how. Just follow me and I'll show you the shi'ot of the doors that you didn't know existing and I'll open them for you. And later on, you'll go back and tell people, now I understood how. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.